I'll tell you how God speaks to me. We just agreed to go up to Cairns in North Queensland. It's the, the northern part of Australia from the southern part, which was, which was Geelong. And on the way up, we struck a really wet, wet year. And as we drove through the floods uh, uh, on the way up, uh, I was due to go to a camp in, in, the, in the city of Brisbane in Queensland down on the coast. <clears throat> and that was the arrangement we'd made and I was heading in that direction with our caravan and our children and we were heading to go down to this camp on the coast at Brisbane. And as I drove along, a story kept recurring in my mind and it was about how the wise men after they'd spoken to King Herod, were warned by an angel to go home another way. And I'm driving the caravan, and, and I mentioned to Eleanor, my wife, I said, you know, I've got this, this thing um, about the, the wise men being warned to go ho home another way. And it's, it's staying in my mind all the time. Do you think the Lord's trying to say something to me? Anyway, she was wise and she didn't say too much about it. But the further I got towards Brisbane, the firmer it became in my mind that the Lord was saying, go home another way. Well, we had made arrangements to go north of Brisbane to some friends that we'd met years before, in a place called Banana, which was north of Brisbane. And so I mentioned to Eleanor, I said, look, I don't think we should go down to that camp along the coast. I think we should go another way and go straight to Banana, uh, where, which is a township, and catch up with our friends there, which we did. And as we pulled the caravan up and we went in and had tea, they turned on the news and lo and behold, it was the time when they had massive floods in Brisbane and the caravan park and the campground where we would have stayed in was flooded with about, uh, you know, two metres of water went through the whole campground and we were, our caravan would have been flooded. All of our gear that we had in the caravan would have been, went, would have been ruined and, um, and so I'm so thankful now that that when God speaks into your heart and it and it doesn't move, it's wise to by faith take that step and believe God and go another way and and because that's how God can actually challenge you and direct your footsteps. The Bible said the steps of a good man are ordered of the Lord. And so we're able to go all the way up to Cairns through one of the worst floods uh, that they'd had at that particular time. We're talking about 1970 now. And, um, and so it was a, a, a time when God's direction and blessing was upon us and we arrived safely. And I'm so thankful today that that actually happened. God does direct you. God does help you. We need to have a listening ear. Thank you.